And now let's start with integers data type. These data types are often called integers or ints. They are positive or negative whole numbers with no decimal point. Integers are used for a variety of reasons between math calculations and indexing, which we'll get into later. But they are a main data type in any language. Let's go ahead and print a couple of examples out in the next cell of our file. So these are the following, these are the integers. We'll type print 2 in parentheses and print 10 in parentheses. If you go ahead and run the cell, the results will be output with a series of numbers 2 and 10. The next data type is floats. Any time a number has a decimal point on it, they are known as floating point data types. It doesn't matter if it is one digit or 20, it's still a float. The primary use of floats is in mass calculations, although they, are, they have other uses as well. So let's check this example. If you go ahead and run this cell, the output should be a series of numbers 10.953 and 8.0. Please note that the number 8.0 is considered a float because it includes a decimal point. The next one is booleans. The boolean data type is either a true or false value. Think of it as like a switch where it's either off or on. It can't be assigned any other value except for true or false. Booleans are a key data types and they provide several uses. One of the most common for is for tracking whether something occurred. For instance, if you took a video game and wanted to know if a player was alive when the player spawned initially, you would set a boolean to true. When the player lost all their lives, you would set the boolean to false. This way you can simply check the boolean to see if the player is alive or not. This makes for a quicker program rather than calculating lives each time. So let's go ahead and run the following. The output should be the words true and false respectively. The next data type is strings, also known as string literals. These data types are the most complex of the four that we go over today. Now, strings are going, are common in quotation marks and everything, even if it's a number, if it is wrapped inside of the quotation marks, it is a string. And if we run the following, the output will include an empty line at the top as we print out nothing in the first statement. 